Nation, Boda King Live coming at you again for another unboxing video. Now this is going to be, I guess part one of two. I ordered two boxes from rightstuff.com for Christmas, uh, just getting them, go figure. And um, the other one I haven't even got yet. So two boxes to get free shipping here in Canada, you have to spend over $250. So they're both pretty big boxes. So I'm going to unbox the first one that I've received now. We'll check out the goodies. And um, the next one will be done whenever it comes in. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into the box. All right, guys, uh, as you can see here, this is my first, you know, Christmas anime box from rightstuff.com. Um, I'm in the living room right now, so the voice might echo a little bit. And if you hear a lot of chaos going in the background, it's... Uh, my kitten over there playing with uh, her toy mice. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's get into this box. As you can tell, boop, it's uh, it's open already. Um, I couldn't resist when it came in. So uh, I already opened it up and took a little peek and uh, maybe even got into one or two of the shows already in here. So um, let's uh, let's get right into it and see what, see, see uh, all the goodies that, that I ordered. This is, like I said, this is actually my second box that I ordered from Right Stuff. The other one is still waiting on a on a kill the kill a blu-ray so what we got first and i always love these little uh little extras they throw in here we got the a really really nice sailor moon s you know promotional display you know just talking about uh sailor moon s box set coming up soon and then a really nice random one half uh again really nice uh paper board of uh the OVA and the movie collection that came out. This is one of the, don't have this one on Blu-ray yet. I still have the DVD box set and I'm really struggling with if I should upgrade or not because the DVD one cost me an arm and a leg at the time. So I really love these things that they throw in here. I'm, I'm a big fan of these little extras and bonuses. I mean, there's not, you know, there, there's not much to them, but they're nice to, you know, there's little mini posters, you know, put them up somewhere. So, without further ado, let's do the manga first. Um, I had Doll 1 and 3 picked up at a convention. So, I really dislike having incomplete series. Not so much incomplete as missing a middle volume. Or say you're missing volume 1, but you have 2 and 3. I really don't like having, you know, missing volumes in between the rest. So, I had to buy part 2 to go with one and three. So now, you know, if I decide to read one, I can actually read two, then three. It was only $4, I believe. So it's artwork is pretty bare bones. I really wasn't a big fan uh, of it when I was flipping through, but who knows, maybe the story uh, will save it. So that was one of the manga. The other one, which was only like $2, is this one right here. Actually released by um, Anime Works. I'm not too familiar with them releasing manga has a really nice textured feel to it. I really love that feel. Gun Parade March. Um, surprisingly nice looking. Um, I really actually, just again, flipped through it quickly. Artwork and everything looked really nice. I enjoyed the, the anime when I watched it uh, years ago. So for like $2, it was a done deal. Next up is this bad boy here. The second Oh My Goddess Omnibus Collection. I required this big time because I bought the first one in the last box that I bought to get rid of a lot of the comic issues that I collected when I was younger. See, one of the very first manga I ever got into was Oh My Goddess. And I used to collect, you know, the 30-page comic form editions every month from the comic book store. And I collected boxes of them. So the first Omnibus had a lot of the issues that were never released over here. So I couldn't really get rid of any, rid of many comics with with the, because of that issue. So I, I had to go then get book two so that I could uh, work on the rest of the comics, getting rid of that huge stack of them up in my room, just so I can alleviate some space because I prefer them in this format over the comic book format. It takes up a lot less space, uh, but it does miss a lot of the a lot of the knickknacks in the comics. That honestly I'm not going to go back and really look at nowadays, but I really used to enjoy the comic books used to have, you know, just ads and the uh, fan letter section, pen pal section, all that. 
which you know I miss, but uh, it's it's days are done. So again, these are twenty dollars American, half price, fifty uh, ten dollars. So yeah, yes, please sign me up. So as you can see, you can probably see most of these already. I'm gonna just bust through a few of them really quickly here. Is the Gunbuster DVDs um, volume one, two, and three? I believe they were five bucks each. So yeah, could not say no. I've been wanting this show for quite a few years now. And I'm pretty happy to finally have it, and have it, and it's released by that unusual company, that Honiamis right there. Not too sure where they came from, or if even they're even still around. But you'll see them one more time, I believe. Here, uh, next up is Dragon Pink, my only uh, <laughs> naughtier, etchy show that. Again, I used to have on VHS tape years and years ago, so I just had to have the DVD upgrade of it. And uh, we'll skip through a few of these here, and we'll go right to this. This is Sasami box set two. I have box set one, so I think it was like five dollars. So I had to have it to, to complete the collection. Uh, Galaxy Angel Rune. You might have seen in one of my other videos. Uh, here's the complete of it, volume two and three. I had volume one. I love when they use colored. DVD cases. I know a lot of people don't care, but the collector in me makes me just love when, you know, it did clap, woof, uh, volumes stand out like that. And I mean, they're bright, they're shiny, great artwork. Again, that Oniami's company, I don't know, maybe they went under and they're liquidating their stock. Again, I think they're five bucks each. This is an Anime Works, yes, Anime Works one, Shura no Toki. Uh, volumes 1 to 6, apparently a complete collection, it was like $110 on sale for like 15 bucks or something, I'm not too sure. Honestly, it doesn't look too great, it looks, you know, it looks like an older, just samurai show. Uh, but, uh, when I see that $100 on sale for like $10 kind of thing, I can't resist and I have to go after it. Alright, another one, Ninja Nonsense, this is actually put out by Right Stuff themselves. And it's one I've been after for a while, but I always wanted to wait till the price was right. And uh, it was finally, I think it was $10, so here she is. Now we get, well, we'll save the, we'll save the better stuff till right to the end. So, ooh, now finishing off my UFO Ultra Maiden Valkyrie series is this, which says the OVA collection, but in the ad itself, it says it's volumes, or seasons three and four, which is, very confusing, and you're gonna see a lot of save editions coming up soon, I'm sorry. But, uh, again, this was under $10, so it finishes off that series for me, which is just splendid. Uh, this one, you'll notice, is open. Ben 2, or Ben Toe, however you're supposed to pronounce it. Uh, I really wanted to see this show, and it didn't disappoint. It was a little more etchy than I thought, a little more hardcore, but the fighting and everything was really top-notch. Uh, I really like also, quick look, when they do the DVDs and the Blu-rays in different styles. So the Blu-rays are, well, blue, with di even different characters on them to the DVDs. And uh, while this is a save edition, it's another one that, you know, has the reversible cover art. But I actually prefer this cover art over the other version, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. <clears throat> now, the other one, quickly that I actually opened, we'll, we'll skip to that, is Love Live Volume 1. Now this is just the standard edition, which amazingly enough, it actually says on there uh, if it wants to ever focus, which apparently it doesn't because this camera hates me. So whatever, back up. Now I'm not a big fan of this cover, like I really like, I really like, you know, the art itself, but I'm not a fan that it's on its side like that. I don't know, it just, when it sits on the shelf, it just doesn't look right. And it also almost looks low quality. The image itself, I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't look sharp. It doesn't look crisp. The back looks nice. And this is actually released by NIS America. Like, don't they publish games like RPGs over here? Never knew where this company came from either. And English dub, uh, great English dub. I'm really surprised that it was as good as it was. Now, the discs themselves look amazing. They are crisp. And I really enjoy, again, the see-through, you know, cover with the, with the art, uh, you know, picture collage underneath. Fantastic collection, and I can't wait to pick up the next couple volumes because I, well, I just finished it last night, and it's top-tier stuff. So, moving along with next save edition is Codebreaker here. Uh, there was these these save editions were under fifteen dollars each. I think they were like twelve to thirteen bucks each. So I've been eyeballing this one for a while. So I picked it up. 
Next up is Cat Planet Cuties. This was like 10 bucks or something. I've cut it from my order so many times and honestly I believe I have her in a giant figure upstairs. So I have to confirm that because I'll be more impressed with it if that's the case. Next up is Nobunagan. I saw the trailer for this a while ago and it looks really good. So again it was like $12, $13 so heck yeah I picked it up. So let's go and then okay we got a double parter here. This is DVDs, didn't get the Blu-rays of these. Baka and Test, uh, the complete complete deal here. It's seasons one, two, plus the, the OVA. I saw a couple of volumes, or a couple of episodes of this a long time ago, and I liked it. I just waited for the price to be right, and it finally was. I think they were roughly around 10, 15 bucks each, so grabbed them all, and now I got it complete. Let's just hope uh, I can reverse these, these covers here and get rid of that save, we'll see. Next up is Good Luck Girl. I read the review of this and it was it was quite good uh, on Right Stuff's channel. I read the reviews, uh, people were saying that it's actually pretty good. So this one came, this one beat out a few others that, that I cut because quick story, when Right Stuff has their sale on, I'll go through every week and I'll add everything I want. And the order was over $3,000. So I was able to cut it down to 300 and this, this is what made the cut. I, some of it isn't great, but I like to go for the stuff that's on sale the most. And occasionally some things I really want. This is Girls and Panzer, the real Anzio Battles is the, the newest OVA. Now there's a movie now after this, which I need to pick up now. But this is the OVA, it was only 30 minutes, which was kind of weak considering there's another OVA collection that's kind of short. But... I already popped this in and watched it, and it was epic. Just like, uh, I, you know, All Girls in Panzer is really good, really good stuff. So, let's just do a quick little peek in here. Uh, this disc is really nice. This one's a little weak, but I'm very disappointed not to see, you know, it's even a clear case, but no, uh, no picture underneath. That's, that makes me a sad panda a little bit. All right, here we then, go. Uh, uh, Black Butler Season 3, The uh, Book of Circus. Season 1 and 2 were excellent, Black Butler's a bit of a fan favorite, and I certainly enjoy it. So, there's the OVA series out now as well, I mean, whenever you buy a, buy a season, another season comes out. So I'm pretty happy to have this, this was the this is one of the pricier ones, this was like the $30 range. Uh, this wasn't, this one, that wasn't cheap. And then uh, getting to the most expensive one of them all, is the When They Cry Season 2 and 3. Uh, season two was murder. <laughs> uh, it was like thirty-seven dollars or something, and that you know that was half price. That was on sale. But after seeing season one there like a year ago, I really just want to see the rest of it so I can finally figure out just what the hell is going on in this show. And then uh, season three was only like twenty bucks or something. So it's just the OVAs or something, to my knowledge. And um, so if I was going to buy this, may as well buy that, get it over with. And uh, so here it is. So finally, When They Cry is complete. Super happy to have it. And that is it for for that box. That was, uh, that was about $300. And because, um, uh, you know, well, $300 American. Because here in Canada, we got to spend $250 to get that juicy juicy free shipping so every time I do an order I uh, usually always seem to jack it up to to that $250 range so I can get that delicious free shipping so uh, that's it for this first anime un you know, unboxing Christmas edition uh, get ready for another one coming up and whenever it decides to show up and leave a like uh, if you liked anything in the box uh, leave a comment below what you get for Christmas you got any juicy anime and uh, Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Peace.